The debate over transgender rights in schools is flaring up across the country, but a case right here in Connecticut could have a big impact across the nation. And today, it headed to court. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven following it for us. This is a landmark case. If Connecticut's transgender athletics policy is struck down, it could have ripple effects across the nation. Trans rights are human rights. It's a flashpoint across America. Transgender rights in school. These are real kids who are scared out of their minds. In Connecticut, trans athletes can compete under their chosen gender. But is that fair? It's unfair and it, it doesn't allow for a level playing field. Alana Smith is a former Danbury High track star. Thursday, she and three others asked a federal appeals court to strike down Connecticut's policy. A lower court dismissed the case. The appeals court appeared skeptical, too. At least two of them are now enrolled in college, or are they all in, in uh, college? And yes, compete, are, And yeah. all are competing now? Uh, they all are or have been. The standard is not is whether someone can actively compete and, and the, the plaintiffs here won many, many championships, won many races um, against our clients. You know, the whole reason we have women's sports as a separate category is because there are real physical differences between males and females. Connecticut's Governor Candidates Forum. In the governor's race, Republican Bob Stefanowski says he'll repeal the transgender policy. But I fundamentally believe it's unsafe and unfair for a biological male to compete against a girl in high school. Politics aside, Alana Smith hopes to find a compromise. I do believe that there's a spot for everyone in sports, so I'm hoping that we can come to some kind of middle ground and figure out how it can be fair for all athletes. As for the federal appeals court, there's no word when they might rule. In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.